lot of the conversations I've had around the metaverse during Mobile World Congress have been around this idea of building a metaverse-ready network. Curious to get your opinion on what that exactly entails. Yeah, we need the networks to have edge compute so that your end-to-end -end latencies are as low as possible. The second one we need is for the infrastructure to implement QoS so that um, the XR traffic is prioritized, it gets the right priority over the other best effort traffic. So I, I feel if we can get these two things in place, we'd be, it'd be a great starting point. So now for devices, whether we're talking about a consumer device for gaming and media, an enterprise device for collaboration, or an industrial device for product design and iteration, where are we today and what are some of the priorities as you all continue to develop your technologies in that area? Uh, yeah, so I think today we have a 5G enabled phone that's already very widespread. So the next uh, nearest thing that's gonna happen is a 5G enabled phone that is connected to a glass, right? Which, is, which, is, which has Wi-Fi capability. So now you can put together an end-to-end -to -end system wherein you have the edge to phone to glass and you can begin to then render content onto your glass. So that would be one example of uh, an AR glass that talks to the phone. You could also have gaming consoles, which are 5G like enabled, where you can enable uh, low latency applications. So we've talked about 5G. I'm curious, what is the role of Wi-Fi in delivering on this vision of the metaverse? Uh, yeah, so when you're in the home and when you have glasses, which are Wi-Fi powered, you can talk directly over Wi-Fi. But when you're uh, in a congested environment, um, like here, uh, you know, Wi-Fi may see a lot of interference, so 5G connectivity is going to be important. Also, for this phone to glass, you know, the edge to phone to glass, the connection between the glass to the phone can be over Wi-Fi, uh, and the connection between the phone to the edge cloud can be over 5G. So when we think about this edge to network to device continuum, it seems like there's a lot of opportunities for intelligence and awareness to really bolster the experience. So how are you all thinking about putting AI and perception-assisted wireless into this? Yeah, we're working on perception-assisted wireless in our research lab. Um, for example, let's say you are in a millimeter wave network, 5G millimeter wave network, where the beams change pretty rapidly when there's an obstacle or when the user is moving. So in that case, we use perception information such as camera and 6DOF uh, to actually uh, to enable predicting the millimeter wave beam to as quickly as possible. And so that really allows for a seamless user experience. Uh, and so that's how we're using uh, perception-assisted uh, wireless uh, starting point. It's a really bright outlook for Metaverse. I'm excited to see how it develops. Thank you for taking the time to keep us up to date. Thank you very much.